Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Nation here, and today I'm going to be doing a simple and easy flat twist out with these two products, the Mayel White Peony Leave-In Conditioner and the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. I'm starting on freshly cleansed hair and I'm just going to part my hair in this section. Later on in the video you'll see that I switch it up because I could not figure it out this way. But I kept this part in just to show you how I applied the product. So I just sprayed my hair with some water first, went in with a little bit of the leave-in conditioner and then a little bit of the gel on top. So here, as you can see, I decided to switch up the parting because I could not figure out how to flat twist going downward, so I did it sideways. So this part is kind of difficult for me to explain, so I am going to link the video that I watched to kind of learn how to do this, but basically, my right index finger is gripping a piece of hair, then my left index finger is coming around and kind of separating uh, the piece of hair that I just grabbed and I'm wrapping it in a twist as I do that. That's a really really bad way to explain it but I'm going to show you how I do every single twist and I'm going to link the video that kind of helped me learn how to do this because this is my first time ever doing this so I'm definitely going to link that video um, down below and just kind of show you how I do all of the twists. So. It's really the same process. I'm just applying my leave-in and my gel, making sure that the hair is smooth. And I am grabbing the hair with my right index finger. And as I'm twisting, um, I'm kind of separating that piece that I grabbed with my right index finger. I'm separating it with my left index finger as I go underneath the twist, um, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Make sure that you check out that video in the description box below for a better um, description on how exactly this is done. So going on to the right side of my head, I just wanted to make a note that Basically, I do the same thing except the rolls are reversed of which fingers are doing what. So now on the right side of my head, the left index finger is the one that is gripping the hair and the right index finger is the one that's going underneath and separating the piece that I just gripped with my left index finger. So it's just kind of the rolls are reversed as far as what fingers are doing what, but it's still the same concept. And I decided to do um, the twist behind the one in the front first because I noticed on the left side of my head that I just kept messing up the front twist. And th it's an easy fix for that, but I just figured it'd make my life easier if I did the one behind the front first. <music>
so as you can see with this twist that I'm starting well as you will see it's going to start messing up the twist in front which is kind of what I was trying to avoid but um, I will show you when I finish doing this twist how I kind of like re-tighten up the um, twist in front of this one six twists total three on each side and I think they look pretty good for my first time actually uh, it wasn't that hard so I just let them air dry overnight and slept with a satin um, bonnet and the next morning this is what they look like <laughs> To take them down, I'm going in with the Bio Silk Silk Therapy um, Serum Oil, I guess. <laughs> Just to make sure that um, while I'm undoing the twist, of course, you don't want a lot of frizz. So that just helps with that. And it gives it a little bit more shine as well. So this clip is sped up, but I'm kind of, you know, taking my time just to make sure that I have the least amount of frizz as possible and I can preserve the curls. the twists are taken down I'm just going through and kind of separating um, each little section that I feel can be separated you know I'm not trying to force it too much but anything that I feel like I can easily break apart I'm doing that just to help add a little bit more volume <music> of course I had to go in with my pick um, I love this metal one because it's just super long and I feel like it does a really good job at adding a lot of volume like you see that so much volume right there <laughs> so I really try to pick as much as I can just the roots only focusing on the roots don't want to go any further don't want to mess up the curl pattern I decided to go ahead and pin back the front because I just didn't like how it was looking so I did a middle part and as you'll see I'm going to just kind of swoop my edges with some eco styler olive oil um, and I'm gonna kind of twist it back a little bit as you'll see after I do my little swoop my edges 
and um yeah i felt like it just gave it a little extra flair and made the style even cuter So this is the other side that I did off camera and these are my final results. So all in all, I would say I actually got a really decent amount of definition for only six twists and it did not take me that long to do at all. And if you want quicker results, you can definitely sit under the dryer so that you can, you know, have the twist out the same day. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this finished look. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, share. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.